I was asked to do some June Ought 9 questions, and uh, so I'm going to do the Part B, the problem-solving problems. So we're going to do uh, 47 through, uh, well, all together we'll see how far we go. Now we start off with question 47. Person walks 150 meters due east, and then I can't do these problems without doing a diagram. I just lose track too easily. So I go 150 meters due east. 150 meters, and then walks 30 meters due west. So they stop, they turn around, they go back 30 meters. So the question is, so the entire trip takes 10 minutes, so time is 10 minutes. Determine the magnitude. Now magnitude is a word that means size. Keep in mind, a vector has to have a size and a direction. So oftentimes they'll ask for magnitude only. In this case they're asking for magnitude and direction of the total displacement. Displacement, uh, this is a vocabulary question. If you started here, how far were you displaced? Well, you end up here. And so your displacement is that way, and 150 minus 30, this would be about 120 meters. So let's see the answer sheet. And they want the magnitude, 120 meters. And the direction would be, well, the same direction as the 150, and that would be east. 48 uses this information. The instant before a batter hits, say, 0.15 kilogram baseball, the velocity of the ball is 45 meters per second west. And I'm going to sketch it here. Mass is 0.14 kilograms. Uh, velocity initial is 45 meters per second, and that's westward. The uh, instant after the batter hits the ball, the ball's velocity is 35 meters per second eastward. So the velocity final is going to be 35 meters per second in the opposite direction. Now this would be a great point to remember that vectors require direction. And we use in vectors positive and negative to indicate direction. So if I traditionally call to the right positive velocity, I'm going to better call this negative velocity. So my velocity is negative 45 meters per second. I would have to go all the way to zero before I could even begin going in the other direction. So, uh, so there. The bat and ball are in contact for 1 times 10 to the negative 2 seconds. Time is 1 times 10 to the negative 2 seconds. Question 48. Determine the magnitude and direction of the average acceleration of the baseball while it is in contact with the bat. This is two points, so let's look at it. Well, all they want are the numbers. They really don't want to see how I got that answer. Of course, I have to work it out in order to get an answer, so let's see how I do it. I want acceleration. An acceleration is uh, a force divided by mass. That's one formula for acceleration. Uh, the other one is change in velocity over time. Velocity initial was negative uh, 45 meters per second. Velocity final was 35 meters per second. My change in velocity is going to be, ready for this, 80 meters per second. I'm going to go 45 down to 0 plus an additional 35, so that's 80. Now, if you make the mistake and call it 10 meters per second um, as a change of velocity, you will eventually end up with the wrong answer. That will be penalized once, but if everything else and then subsequent use of that value is done properly, then you get credit for the rest of them. So uh, if you use 10 there, it's not the end of the exam, it's just one point. Uh, acceleration is going to be 80 meters per second divided by the time, which they said was 1 times 10 to the negative 2 seconds. And I'm going to get an acceleration of 8,000 meters per second squared, meters per second per second. Now what's the direction of the acceleration? Well again, let's think about this. The ball is going this way. 
before it can go in the other direction, it's got to slow down. So it needs an acceleration in this direction. It's going to be accelerated. You're going to be hitting it with a bat going in that direction. So the acceleration is heading uh, east. And then after the ball stops, it continues to move forward with the bat. It continues to go east. So the acceleration is going to also be east. Question 49. Calculate the magnitude of the average force the ball exerts, the bat exerts on the ball while they're in contact. Incidentally, uh, for every action force, there's an equal opposite reaction force. This question was, how much force does the ball exert on the bat? It would be exactly the same as the bat on the ball. A little tidbit there. So uh, you need to show all work, including equation and substitution with units. So I know my... Velocity initial was negative 45 meters per second. Velocity final was 35 meters per second. Time of contact was 1 times 10 to the negative 2 seconds. And my mass, what was the mass of that thing? 0 0.141 kilograms. That was given to me in the problem. Now I later found that the uh, acceleration was 8,000 meters per second squared. So I can list that as a known if I want to. In college, you can't solve them without doing these first. And at this level, uh, even if you made a mistake here, if you use it properly here, um, you'll get the full credit for it. Now, what's my formula for force? Well, I look it up, and force is equal to mass times acceleration. So that's equal to 0.141 kilograms times 8,000 meters per second squared. I have a force about equal to uh, 1,128 kilogram meters per second squared. Now if you get a little confused, you can leave it like that, and technically it's correct. However, we'd rather see force equals 1128 newtons. Keep in mind, I've made mistakes on my math before, so you might want to go check my math rather than just look at what I'm doing.